Hey what's going on guys, Norski here. In this video I'm comparing the PPSH-41 to the Grease Gun to see which gun is better based on each gun's current weapon statistics at the time of this video being made, and also my personal opinion on what I think of these two submachine guns. Let's start off with the PPSH-41. This gun originated from the Soviet Union back in 1941, hence the 41 in the name of the gun. These guns were produced between 1941 and 1947. In that time span there were around 6 million of these bad boys built. Now, this gun is located in the submachine gun class and is available to play with right away at rank 1. You just need to spend an unlock token to use it. This gun's weapon ratings are solid all around. Its damage rating is a 6, range is a 5, accuracy is a 6, and its rate of fire is an 8. At close range, this gun just completely melts everyone that gets in its way. This gun has to have one of the fastest time to kill ratios in the whole game because it can kill an enemy in a split second. At close range, this gun is typically a 3 to 4 shot kill. Headshots obviously make this gun even a quicker killing machine. This gun is also great at hip firing. Personally, I like the iron sights in this gun. I think they're pretty clean and easy to use. I also don't want to waste an attachment slot on reflex sights when I could be using it for something better. One attachment I really recommend for this gun is adding a grip to this gun because it'll help immensely, especially at medium and long range shots. The PPSH without grip can be a bit inaccurate because this gun does have some noticeable upward recoil. It's not terrible to deal with and it is manageable to adjust to, but definitely add grip to it. At medium range, this gun is not nearly as effective as it is at close range, but it can still get the job done. The damage drops off a little, so I typically like to add the attachment called Full Metal Jacket, which improves the overall power of the gun, especially when you're shooting through surfaces. You can also add another attachment if you are running the perk called Primed. I typically don't use Prime very often. My favorite perk so far is called Lookout, which makes the minimap bigger and enemy targets appear from further away. But yeah, this gun is pretty solid at medium range. Long range engagements are something you probably should avoid most of the time while using the PPSH. Mainly because this gun becomes pretty weak damage wise and also much tougher to control. The recoil can make it difficult to lock onto a target at long range. 9 times out of 10, you'll probably lose a gun engagement at long range, especially if you're going against an assault rifle or an LMG or a sniper. This gun can kill at long range, but it's not the easiest. The ammo situation for the PPSH can be a bit shaky sometimes, especially if you start to go off on a nice kill streak. Ammo can become an issue, so keep that in mind. Solutions are you could use extended mags, which makes the total ammo go from 35 in the magazine along with 105 in reserve to 52 in the magazine along with 156 in reserve. Or you could use the perk called Forage, which will resupply bullets from killed enemies. The PPSH also has a super fast rate of fire. Although the Thompson and WAP-28 both have faster fire rates, the PPSH is no slouch when it comes to rate of fire. The overall accuracy is pretty solid all around. It's fairly easy to adjust to the recoil. Grip makes this gun so much more accurate. Obviously this gun is super accurate at close range. At medium range it's still easy to control and still fairly accurate. Long range accuracy is somewhat poor though. The gun's accuracy becomes a lot more sporadic and inconsistent at long range. My overall thoughts on the PPSH-41 are this gun is pretty good. It dominates at close range and it kills enemies in an incredibly quick time. As of right now this gun is probably a top 3 gun at close range in the entire game. The only downfalls are this gun can burn through ammo fairly quick, and it's also not the most effective at long range. No matter what, I really enjoy using the PPSH-41, and my overall rating for the PPSH-41 is a 7 out of 10. Moving on to the other gun in this comparison, which is the Grease Gun. This gun originated in the United States. There were over 600,000 of these guns produced between 1943 and 1945. This gun is located in the submachine class and is available to play with right away just like the PPSH. Here's the Grease Gun's weapon stats. Damage is a 6, range is a 6, accuracy is an 8, which is the highest accuracy rating among the SMGs. But for its fire rate, it's only a 5 which makes it the lowest rating among the SMGs. At close range, this gun is pretty solid. It has amazing control, but with its slow rate of fire, it's not as effective as the PPSH at close range. The slower fire rate also affects the time to kill. It makes it noticeably slower than the PPSH. I found hip firing with the grease gun to be easier than the PPSH just because of the great overall control the grease gun has. You can typically take out an enemy in 3 or 4 shots at close range with this gun. I told you guys earlier that I like the iron sights in the PPSH. Well, I don't really care for the grease gun's iron sights as much, mostly because they don't have as clean of a view. They aren't bad, but I prefer putting a reflex sight on the grease gun. 
since this gun is already super accurate, it doesn't need a grip, so I normally either put on Full Metal Jacket or Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire really helps with the rate of fire immensely. At medium range, this gun is still super accurate, and the recoil is still almost non-existent. I would almost say this gun is more effective at medium range than close range, just because it's not as quick of a killing gun. The damage drops off a tad bit, but not as much as the PPSH. At long range, the grease gun starts to drop off a little, but not as much as the PPSH at this range. The overall damage is fairly weak at long range, the accuracy and control are still pretty solid, and the recoil is fairly low. The grease gun is probably one of the best SMGs at long range in this game. The Type 100 might be better at long range, but it all depends on what you prefer, I guess. The ammo situation isn't as big of a problem as it is with the PPSH, mainly because it has a slower rate of fire, so you won't waste as many rounds. The grease gun holds 30 rounds in its magazine along with 90 in reserve. If you add extended mags onto it, the magazine would hold 45 along with 135 in reserve. The attachments I like to use on the Grease Gun are the Reflex Sight and Rapid Fire. My favorite combination of attachments to use on the Grease Gun are probably the Reflex Sight and Rapid Fire. I also like mixing it up once in a while using Full Metal Jacket instead of Rapid Fire, but I don't think it's quite as effective. The Grease Gun is by far the most accurate submachine gun in Call of Duty World War II. It's also one of the easiest guns to play with in the whole game. My overall opinion on the Grease Gun is it's solid. It honestly feels like it's missing something like it feels kind of weak sometimes. I personally think it could use a buff along with the rest of the SMGs in the game. Don't get me wrong, this gun isn't half bad, but it's not great either. The accuracy is amazing, pretty much no recoil, which makes it super easy to control. The overall range in the grease gun is fairly good, especially for an SMG. Overall, the grease gun isn't a bad gun, and it's honestly a gun I really want to like, but it's tough right now. My overall rating for the grease gun is a 6.7 out of 10. Overall, I gotta give the edge to the PPSH, just because it's such an amazing gun at close range. It's honestly not as versatile as the grease gun, but when a gun melts people like the PPSH does, it deserves some credit. After hearing my opinion, I wanna know, what gun do you guys prefer between these two guns? Let me know in the comments. Also let me know which two guns you want me to compare in my next video. Anyways, thanks for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed, and also feel free to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks again guys, and I'll catch you later.